Hands Farmer Reaper, welcome back to the lab. Hopefully everybody had a great summer. I know in the club I see you guys are busy, your tanks are looking great, and all your corals. So as we're moving forward here, I'm going to explain what's going to be taking place. Because I know when we left off in our last episode, um, you know, we were adding all the shrimp and the fish. So we did all that. But now you guys get to see the corals that I have in here and what we're going to do with all of them. So you know I, you know, I named all three tanks. We have Krypton, Asgard, and uh, Tatawan right here. These are the three tanks that we're doing all our different testing on and all this kinds of stuff. So the, what the process here is going to be is, well, uh, the Asgard tank, this is the polyp lab tank. So we're going to use all different polyp lab products in this tank. I want to show you know, how you know, we're going to use uh, like the polyp booster, you know, the reef roids, how we do this, the best techniques to feed your corals. Um, like, you know, their, their polyp lab uh, pro carbon, why this stuff is really beneficial to use in your tank. And then you got your reef primer. This stuff's great. You always make sure you want to dip all your corals as well. So they have a whole line of these great products and more that can you know, have like very great success. And I want to show you guys that. So with this tank here, if you guys right into the gate, I'm going to show you something. So you guys see how nice and crystal clear this is. I want to show you guys before I end up making the other two tanks crystal clear. Well, why is it like this? Well, I'm using the Pro Carbon. This stuff here, it, it, it polishes your water. It's great, guys. It polishes your water. It takes out different smells out of there. And plus, all of different uh, chemicals like when your corals give off for like a warfare, it'll absorb that as well. And I just run that in a media bag and I just throw that in a high flow area in my sump. So you guys can see crystal clear compared to uh, Krypton and uh, Tatooine right there. So you guys can see the big difference. So when you guys come back in the next episode next week, you'll end up seeing these two tanks on the left and the right. It's going to be crystal clear and just like this one. And this is what we're looking for right here, this beautiful, crisp, clean color. And it's great. Just put it in a high flow area. So. As this process goes forward, what are we going to do? Well, like this tank here, we're running all Paul Flat products. Uh, Tatatuni over here. What that tank is, we're not really, we're not going to do anything to that tank. We're just going to, we're just going to feed it um, different food. We're not going to feed any uh, Paul Flat products. We're just going to do water changes, and that's pretty much about it. That's what we're going to do on that tank, so we can compare it to the other two tanks. So this one here, this tank, we're end up uh, running uh, Roa. Uh, Roofos is like a GFO. It absorbs all of your nitrates and phosphates out of your tank so you don't have any algae problems. It keeps those phosphates really low. So this tank will run on Roa. And then this tank behind me on the Krypton tank is going to run on Roa as well. So you guys can see the two different uh, what will take place. And then halfway through what we'll do is we're just going to run the polyp lab tank on Roa. And then we're going to use a different kind of GFO on Krypton so you guys can see the difference in GFO. So you can see how Roa works compared to say tank A, that's how this process is going to work so you can see how things are going to be different compared to you know using ROA compared to the other product. Alright, but I'm not going to say what the other product's name is, alright, but this is what we're going to do. We're, end up, we're going to run ROA in a reactor in that tank, but we're not going to run any kind of uh, filter media on that either. Just going to run just some carbon, clear up the water so it's nice and clear for you guys. And then this tank as well, we're, we're just going to feed the reef roids to all our corals. We want to see our corals grow, you know, really vibrant with beautiful colors and be very healthy. That's where you're going to feed the reef roids and you can use the polyp booster and that's going to open up all the polyps before you end up feeding the reef roids and it's going to suck it right in. And then as we're going through this process, these corals here, I'm going to show you in the other uh, upcoming episodes, you don't want to get any different kind of pests in your tank. They can eradicate, eat your corals, all different kinds of stuff. So you're going to be using the reef primer, it's great stuff to use on all these corals, alright? So I'm going to show you that process as well. So that's sort of what's going to happen here as we're going to go forward here for a year. We're going to watch these tanks mature and evolve, alright? So I want to show you all the different things so when we use different products, how it's all going to work and what's really beneficial. And just using these products, how it makes things so much easier for your tank when you're using a great product, guys. And as we're going forward, as you guys can see, I got a lot of different different corals here. I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal. You guys can check out all the. I got some nice meat corals, some yumas, uh, montes, and zoas, all different kinds of stuff that love to eat reef roids. Plus, as you guys can see up the top here on the Marcos Rock as well, um, I left a nice open area so we can get some really nice SPS corals for all of these tanks on the tops, and then we can watch them grow. Um, I'm using a d and HC Ocean Salt on all three of these tanks, but if you notice, I'll bring you guys close to personal as well here, 
um, the Coraline algae growth compared to uh, the Tatalon over there. I'm not doing any dosing in that one either. Um, what's a great thing as well, uh, Polyp Lab has a uh, one. It's a, this one here is the complete balanced calcium system that you use for dosing. So what's great is uh, DTH2 which is salt has a nice high magnesium level. So when you're uh, when you're testing your dosing and you notice how your calcium is going low or magnesium and your water is great, you don't need to do any water changes. So you end up dosing this here. So if you notice all the different uh, coralline algae, I have a lot more coralline algae in this tank in uh, Asgard and uh, Krypton, but not Tatooine. I've been dosing with one, and I'm getting like crazy uh, coralline algae growth. I've never seen this much before compared to uh, Tatooan over there. I'm show you guys not as much, so that's great. Just by knowing that I'm dosing with one, I'm getting all this great coralline algae growth, and that's what we're looking for. That shows that a really nice, healthy tank. All right, so I'll bring you guys up close. We can check out some of the corals, and then we can see how, from this video going forward, all the different growth on these corals. I'm excited to show you guys what's gonna take place here, just feeding these corals, um, just watching them grow. The tanks are pretty much ready. We're gonna get into some nice SPS colonies. We're gonna frag them out. We're gonna get them all up in the higher area because they need to be higher in the tank for the light. All right, and then we're gonna feed these different tanks, all these different refroids, whatever we're gonna feed at uh, Tatawan. It's gonna be great, guys. So come on in. Let's uh, check out some of the corals and some of the different uh, little creatures we have in here. And then, pretty much, I think, coming up very soon, these tanks will go live. You can go on uh, my YouTube channel, and you guys can watch these tanks live during the day if you want, and see how the, the progress is going, and you never know, maybe some newer corals in there you guys can check out. But I'm happy we're back checking out these tanks, and I'm excited to show you guys all these different products and how well they're gonna do, and I'm excited to show you guys all the different growth between Asgard, Tatawan, and Krypton. It's gonna be great, guys, and we'll see at the end how all this turns out. All right, so let's come in, check these uh, tanks all out, and hopefully you guys tune in live to see these tanks up on YouTube. All right, all right so here we go. So we're at the uh, Asgard tank. This is gonna be the, the polyplab tank. As you guys can see, you got some uh, beautiful corals down here, guys. This nice meat corals. You guys see a little uh, blunny, bicolor blunny around. We got our tangs, and you guys can see the different shrimp. They're still together. I got the blood shrimp, the cleaner shrimp. A lot of you guys on YouTube are like, you shouldn't be able to keep them together, but see if you guys can see. Look at that, they're, they're hanging out. So we got some nice zoanthids, some nice pink zoanthids, different colonies, feather dusters, pathelia, all kinds of different stuff. So you, you guys can see the top of the tank. This is where we're going to place all the SPS corals, all the different kinds. It's going to be awesome. Nice yumas, all kinds of stuff. So this is our Asgard tank. And you guys can see how beautiful clear it is. And then look here, you guys can see all that coralline algae growth. Look at that, it's all over the power heads, the tons of power heads. It's everywhere. And I'll show you compared to the other tanks. And that's for, because I'm using uh, DD H2 Ocean salt, plus I'm using uh, one of the stuff right here. This stuff is easy, I just dose that at night before I go to bed. It's great. And then, because I'm using the carbon as well, this is the, the pro-carbon in these tanks, I just put it in uh, just put it in a mesh bag, just put it in a mesh bag like this, and just throw it in a high flow area. And what's awesome with this carbon, that it's just beads. It's, it's not, no powder, so it doesn't get all over the place like all the different ones, you guys can see. All right, so let's move on to the other tank. Let's move on to the uh, Tato one over here. You guys can see it's a little foggier because I'm not running uh, pro carbon, but as you guys can see again, we got some nice beautiful corals here. You guys check it out. Can't wait to show you guys uh, the feeding habits on all these different corals. We got some chalices in there, but now if you guys look here, look at these. You know, coralline algae growth. I'm not dosing this tank. So you guys can see there's a little bit on this power head, but the H2 uh, Ocean uh, D&D salt. It's high in uh, magnesium and uh, calcium levels, so we are going to get that growth either way. But if we're dosing with one, it's definitely going to help because you're replenishing all the elements. And I've got some really nice anemones in here, infernos. Let's check them out. That's a uh, that's, so that's Tatawan. All right, so let's move on to Krypton tank. You guys can see it's not as clear again different corals here. 
some nice meat corals. One coral fell down, I gotta get back up. And then you guys can see here, I got the coralline algae growth again on the power heads. You guys can check that out. So I can't wait to, uh, you know, we're gonna add more corals that, like you guys can see on the top here, we're gonna, oh, SPS, can't wait to get all the different uh, kinds of colonies going on. But there you go, so like, look at the difference in running carbon, not running carbon. Carbon, not running carbon. Amazing guys. All right guys, so uh, thanks for coming around the tanks with me. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, what's going on here and the different things we're gonna do. So please leave all your comments below if there's anything you guys would like to see or take place. I'm happy uh, that we're gonna do this over for a year, guys, together. We can check it all out and watch all these tanks evolve by using all different products and doing some testing and keeping some research and data. And we're all gonna learn something and most of all, we're gonna have fun and hopefully end up it'll help uh, you know, up and coming people into the hobby as well. It's, uh, it's a great learning process and I think it's one of the best hobbies that we can do. And always make sure uh, to respect all the animals that are in our tanks. So. Uh, hopefully you guys tune in same time, same place next week and uh, we'll check out these tanks again and do a different uh, process. It's going to be fun guys. So make sure, you know, you'll probably get a notification soon that these tanks are going to be online live uh, on the YouTube channel if you guys want to check in anytime. I'm going to try, try to run it eight hours a day and you guys can see these tanks and fish um, grow up for a year and check in. Alright, so thanks guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button.